turn in the time we have left to the economy. When Congress passed the $787 billion stimulus, the White House said that it would keep unemployment a little over at the top, 8%. It's now, as you well know, at 9.5%. And I want to put up the projections this week from the Federal Reserve. They forecast it may hit 10.1% in the fourth quarter of this year and will still be nine and a half to nine point eight percent at the end of next year. Do you agree with those numbers and why were all of you in the White House so wrong? Well look, if you look back last December or so, everyone, almost everyone, thought that the economy was not as weak as it actually was. You can't go from job losses of seven hundred thousand a month, which is what was happening in the months leading up to January, to job growth like that in, in you know just instantaneously. It is going to take some time to work our way out of this. The situation in December and in January was worse than most people thought. But you passed the stimulus in February. Out. You knew how bad the situation I mean, it was, the president kept saying it was a catastrophe. No, no, but it was even worse than people thought. If you look back at the majority of the blue chip forecasts and, and the other forecasts, including from the Federal Reserve, late last year, which is what we were basing our projections on at the time, they were all somewhat too optimistic because the economy was weaker at that time than anyone anticipated. What we're trying to do is focus on how we can, and, and also remember, that sense of free fall, minus 6% uh, on GDP growth, that is attenuated. There's still a lot more that needs to be done, but, but we're, not, we're not in the same position that we were then. But just quickly, in the 30 seconds we have left, the Fed says 95 to 9.8% at the end of 2010. It's going to take time to work our way out of this. So you wouldn't dispute those I'm numbers? I'm not disputing those numbers. Mr. Orzak, we're going to...